You know, fun fact, I, I, I haven't actually changed my, my actual face in this game since ever. Like, ever since I, I got the game and I had the online beta, I haven't changed this face, like, once. And all that time, it never occurred to me just how much I actually look like Robin Williams. Eh. How's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into it with another Legends of the West video. And what we're tackling today, requested by Truman and voted by you, the Radical viewers, Teddy Roosevelt. I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda wondering what I was gonna do, US President, on this freaking channel. Hell said, I got two versions of this outfit in particular, and while it doesn't do it as much justice either way I go, the overall look works. I ain't gonna lie. So without further ado, let's break into this outfit piece by piece, shall we? Starting off with the hat. Which thankfully we have exactly what we need in the regimental hat. And it even comes in a variety of colors. I personally recommend kind of the lighter brown, but you can go gray, light tan. You have a variety of options available to you for this particular hat. Like enough to where I could just flat out recommend it. For eyewear, we want the steel spectacles. I I can't stop hearing Robin Williams just say bully every time I look at my face now. This is gonna this is gonna bug me for the rest of my life. Some men are born great. Others have greatness thrust upon them. For you, this is that very moment. No mask with this outfit, no bandanas with this, but we do have neckwear. And that's the Frontiersman neckerchief. And as you can see from this, I'm actually using a lot from the Frontiersman stuff from the original first outlaw pass, so. My apologies if you don't have it. I do have another version of this outfit just in case you don't have any of that. No coats with this outfit, no ponchos, no vests. For shirts, I went with the everyday over shirt in light gray. I'm a little disappointed with how many shirts we have that actually come in the light tan I was looking for and the light tan does come in. Uh, looks more like mustard yellow and I don't like it so I, I kind of went with the grays. No suspenders with this outfit, no gauntlets for gloves. The Frontiersman gloves. You're seeing a pattern. You're going to see more of it. No rings with this outfit for belts. The Frontiersman belt. Buckles, weapon equipment, pretty much completely dealer's choice. I mean, the, the, in this uh, in this particular uh, ensemble here, the Rough Rider iconic look for Theodore Roosevelt, uh... He wasn't really wearing, yeah, you know, the, the, the classic gun belt we're familiar with in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, have fun with it. Going on to pants, Frontiersman pants. Yeah. For chaps, you could go with the Frontiersman half chaps. I wouldn't fault you for doing so. They do definitely look the part and they actually come in a really good color for it. But I want something that actually matched the pants a little bit better. So I want the military half chaps. But hey, if you had the Frontiersman chaps, I ain't gonna fault you for it. Moving on to boots, the Burnham boots, in this kind of black and dark ruddy brown color. I like it because it looks worn, but not too worn, and it goes with the chaps really well. And no spurs with this outfit. Now, again, this particular version of the outfit requires that you've had the Frontiersman outfits from the first Outlaw Pass. For those that don't have that, I got you covered. One moment as I swap over to my other version of this. Basically, it stays pretty much the same. Really, the only thing that's going to change up is the neckerchief we get from the Frontiersman is going to be replaced with this nice spiffy blue bandana with the white little decals. The gloves are going to be swapped out with the cavalry gloves here. I'm not a fan of the two-tone, but at least it comes in the two tones of color I was going for. Very light tan and very light browns. Sadly, no belt with this, because if you're going without the Frontiersman stuff, well, then you're not going to have it. Same weapon equipment, again, is dealer's choice. Buy for pants. For some reason, I want the Frontiersman pants, and I'm a dipstick. Really, any pant that comes in a very light tan, light gray would work. In fact, the Bandito pants 
work bloody perfectly for it. And of course, your chaps, well, much like the other one, I recommend the military half chaps. That all said, that's it. I I am so weirded out that I, I, I've somehow done Sorry, I know y'all can't hear that because I have the uh, the Elgato sound output turned off in this video, but there's just an explosion outside. I'm in San Denis after all, so that's not surprising. Anyway, <laughs> maybe that's a good thing because I was about to go ramble again. As usual, though, I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, a great way of showing your support is, of course, by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and, you know, sharing around with your friends. And, of course, checking down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own requests in the comments and make sure it counts. Ah. And now some quick little PSAs, like honestly, if you're not interested in how this channel performs or the news associated with it, hey, by all means, click away, I ain't gonna fault you for it. But for those that are Radical viewers and original Radical viewers, eh, just a little couple tidbits coming down the line. Uh, number one, Legend of West ends officially this year. Now, before anyone immediately starts grabbing some lassos and gets ready to lynch my happy ass, the title is going away. <laughs> Legends of the West as a title is going away. This series is going to be renamed and rebranded to something different. As to what that is, frankly, it's probably something I should have named it after I started using the moniker and the uh, the saying one too many times. So don't be weirded out if you start seeing these videos under a different title. Also, against my better judgment, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, to every little twit, tit, and twat out there that I ever shadow banned in the lifetime of this channel for just being an overall ass, I'm removing the shadow bans because my New Year's resolution is try not to have such a big chip on my shoulder and try to just let crap like that pass. But to those who still watch these videos and constantly are leaving comments and wonder why no one's replying to them, well, congrats, you might have an opportunity now. Thought I'd just put that out there. Also, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, just in case I don't get around to it. Ew. Well said, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.